All right, my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of our F1 Manager Career Mode with Aston Martin. It has been going very nicely this season, although, as you're going to see from last race, if you want to go and watch it, it's linked above. It didn't go to plan last time out, but make sure you check it out anyway. Right, we've got stuff to sort out. Um, the underfloor design is complete, so we'll take a look at that in a moment. Exceeding expectations. So, car parts development... Still got two um, projects ongoing. The front wing is going to be done, ready for next race. Okay, well, we can actually start another project. I'm designing, basically, I'm designing heavy for the first half. For the first 11 races, I'm going design heavy. And then for the last 11, we'll carry on designing, but we will be doing research. And that's basically what I've said I'm going to do this season. I'm going to do. So, I'm going to use... 1.4 and we're going to use 12 take a look at that and see how much it improves yeah it's going to improve us a lot yikes it's going to improve us a lot not helping the brake cooling or the engine cooling but it's, it's helping other things so we will do that how many engineers do we have four Urgent would get it done in 26 days, or we do it in 39. Mm. Yeah, I might, I might rush it. I might rush it. might rush it through because I actually think it improves the car so much so that it would be worth it um yeah so uh yeah we're gonna rush that one through lovely right as I nice that's the front wing so hopefully this front wing um, should right we're going to have to have emergency oh my god uh, we're going to have to have emergency no I'm going to have to emergency for in case we bloody crash alright we've got the money we've got the money um, and then do normal a right, couple Right, so we should be or the key. Right, install that. So I'm going to go through this now and make sure that we've got everything that we need on the cars. Yep, that's fine. Side pods. Underfloor. Just the two. Yep. So, that chassis, I actually think we need to, uh, I don't know, more manufacturing slots. And I've kind of said to you guys before that I'm obviously, like, looking at drivers. Um, and I'm obviously, like, he's got six months, but he's not interested. And I don't think he would be interested at the end of the season. I think that Lewis is just too much money. I think George Russell, he becomes available next year on like a free or at a much lower fee. We've got Signs, who is available in six months, but he's not really interested. We've got Lando, who is open to negotiations, but his buyout fee is astronomical. And I would actually rather wait until he potentially went on a free next year. Um... I actually think that Nando for one more year, considering what he's doing, is genuinely the best thing that we, sh we could do. I, I genuinely do believe that. I'm literally going to offer him 
what he's got for one more year and then when those younger drivers become available uh, then that's what we'll do but I'm going to have to open his uh, wages a little here because he isn't too keen on the deal he's currently got in place okay um Well, here is a dilemma. Yeah, I think he's worth. I think he's worth a bit more money, like ten million. But if he, if he doesn't take ten million, I'm going to leave it a little longer. Oh, well, there you go. Well, I'm going to have to um, back out of this negotiation. Be crazy. Anyway, Q2, Q3. Um, finishing position, I'm just going to do this with one car, 10th, just because of what happened with the crash last time, and we will continue on with that. So, let's get to the British Grand Prix. We're here in legendary Silverstone, where the very first Formula One World Championship Grand Prix was held back in 1950. It's a place where every tuft of grass breathes motorsport and the crowd are already crackling with excitement. Silverstone demands a lot of power from cars with numerous twists and historic turns. Downforce is going to be a key factor to manage if teams want to succeed here. We're about halfway through the season now and there's still plenty of time for everything to change. All eyes are on the teams and how they tackle the rest of the year. So, without further ado, let's get started. Right, well, it's going to be dry, and um, it's not very realistic. I live in Blighty. It's always pissing down. Right, gang, we are ready for quali. Look at the setup on Ocon. Uh, it is pretty incredible. Now, there's a chance I might have to take a penalty very soon. Um, because the rotation was working to a point, but this one and this one got battered as a lot of crashes. I'm left with this and it's only at 80%. Um, so we're definitely going to have to take a gearbox very soon. Right, let's see um, what we can do. I'm going to send Alonso out. I don't want any tomfoolery, any problems, any bullshit from Ocon with this, because... I genuinely, to this point, still don't know what happened last time. I've watched it back, and I don't think I retired the car. Um, I, I genuinely don't know what happened. I genuinely, to this point, still don't know what happened with Ocon last time. And then the race was a shit show as well. Um, and that did not help matters at all. Okay, Alonso. Is that traffic? Oh, God, it is brilliant. And Alonso punches in a 125. What is Ocon going to do? Bit of traffic there. Navigates it nicely. Don't think he's going to hit any more. Genuinely. So a 125 is actually a pretty good lap. His Perez just punched a 125. 25.5. 20, Why I can't speak, I will never know. And Ocon goes just slightly slower than Alonso. Hamilton is in the drop zone in the Haas. Gasly is in the drop zone in the Alpine. Well, there you go. Well, things can only get better for signs as well. I wonder what is going to happen. Good session. Yes, okay. Get on with it. Finish, get it done, and yes, it looks like players, players, drivers went better. Oh, what is wrong with me? Okay, so for the first stint, I've put on shite tyres. Um, we're going to just punch the lap in, basically, and then... We will see where qualifying's at. Um, I just like trying to save a set of softs, basically, 
for the race uh, just in case. Um, safety car situations are so important, um, especially when you're not. Like we're, I, I would say we're a front runner now, but at the same time, as much as we're a front runner, we're not. You know, we're not one of the best teams. We're, we're not there yet. Um, so I still like to keep things in reserve. You know. Right, what's Alonso going to do? So a 125.8 is like the cut-off time, I think is what it said. He's on a 126. Okay, well that's pretty slow. Um, what are you going to do? Yes, a 125.8. So there you go, Alonso. Needs something. Going to have to sim both. Basically waiting for other cars to go. Once they go, we go. Alright, here we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Bosch and uh, Bosch. Alonso is going to be the last car out on track. He's the one that needs to improve. We are going to stick with him. Ocon should be fine. In my opinion. So, what is Alonso going to do? Ignore. Ignore. He won. Oh, he, he went even faster, I think. Ocon. Uh, here we go. Here we go. What is he going to do? What is he going to do? It's much better. There you go. <laughs> much, much better. So, I'm running one lap. That's what I'm going to do in this session. So that we've got a brand new set of softs and we've got one that isn't too bad just in case of safety car situations so i'm just running the one lap we ain't getting pole you know we we're, we're not quick enough for that so i just didn't see the point to be honest in smashing the car to pieces as well because obviously our power units and whatnot are uh in disarray so um yeah, I just wanted to kind of look after the car as much as possible. And, uh, yeah, go from there, basically. Um, have I given Alonso enough time? Yeah, he should be fine. Should be fine. Should, should be fine. Right. Albon. And Gasly, very nice. Um, Alonso, uh, Ocon's gone P7. Alonso has gone P7, Ocon P8. He had qualifies him every time. Right, um, here we go. We've got to get set up for this race, haven't we? 52 laps. Um, I was going to say, I, I I don't think this is a is a soft tyre race at all. But I do think it's a two-stop race. Um, but let's see. Let's see what the strategy says. Whatever happens, if we do go... Right, we, can, we could one-stop this. We could one-stop this race. At around about 24, 25, we will. Um, for you, I think I'm going to, uh, basically, I'm going to edit that. We're going to go one more lap. Basically, what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, we're going to do that one. Lap 25. And that is that. That's a really easy setup, to be fair. The drivers have now taken position on the grid. And it's looking like a cloudy day. Taking a look at the Aston Martin. They're in the front half of the pack, so there's plenty of potential for them. There's the second Aston Martin. With a top 10 position on the grid, this race could really go either way for them. And we're just moments away now. Anticipation is high. And yeah, the drivers looks are like they run in the medium. This. The so British Grand Prix. I was worried they were going to go with a, and it's like, out, the worst tyre first, like they go. usually do, but no, it looks like they're all running the medium, and the back mark is running that hard. Okay, so 6th and 7th, and uh, we're up to 5th already by the looks of things. That's it. 
getting it done against that Ferrari. Which is just what we want to see. He's going to battle it back though. He's going to battle it back. And that's not good to just kind of resist. Yeah, and give that I back. Have that pace. But, um, yeah. I don't have that pace to you just say. Signs, yes, that's just what we see. But Alonso's still going for it. We're just sticking with it at the minute while Alonso tries to get this done. Because obviously I'm worried about the uh, ERS. But we will have to neutralise that a bit now. Um, but yeah, let's see what we can do at the British Grand Prix. Because, uh, this is one I'd love to do well in. Obviously, Aston Martin a British base team and uh, I'm from Blighty so yeah it'd be good to get this uh, get this one done and already we can see the pace of the front runners Gasly finds himself up in third wow there you go really good work from Gasly really good work yeah play to the lad Right, are we going to have a little look in a minute? I think we might on this back straight. I'm going to bang this into overtake. And use all the juice to get it done. Are we going to get it done? I think we might not. Oh, it's still there for the taking. I wanted to get it done before the DRS happened. Because now there's just the toe in there. Yeah, that's what I wanted to try and do, but... Couldn't quite get it done. Could not quite get it done. All right, let's um, let's move this along. It's very close at the front. Sixth and seventh isn't the worst. Is nowhere to be seen. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're having a look at Leclerc up the inside, and then we're still having a look. And Ocon's got the fastest lap. Alonso's got past uh, Leclerc, but that bloody Alpine being as slow as it was on exit there kind of cost Alonso the position. He's still having a go though, he's still having a look, and he's got the RS, but so has the Ferrari. And this is proper racing right now, and he's trying to get it. I tell you what, I tell you what, Alonso is brave here. Alonso is brave here. He is trying his hardest to get this done. We might have to try and take the Alpine at the same time. Oh my god, too wide the whole time. Um, what did he do? He's still too wide. <laughs> what is going on? What is going on? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this bunch of cars at the front. Yikes. Oh my god. Look at Gasly. Look at Gasly. Oh my god. Look at this at the front. This is mad. Look at this. Gasly. Oh my god. Gasly's in with a chance of getting the lead. Oh, and he lost out. Right. Um, overtake. Stick it into overtake. Try and get this done. Oh, look at Ocon on the outside, being cheeky. Look at Ocon. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. Ocon was having a look as well. Ocon's just like, what is going on with you lot? I'm going to have a little cheeky look on down the outside. Alonso might finally get this done. I think he has. That's very good. Ocon, though, has got some pace as well. Right, we're all going to have DRS on Gasly because he's lost the leaders. Gasly kind of made a mistake and he's lost the leaders. And so we are going to get DRS. And Ocon's got it done against the Ferrari as well. As has Bottas by the looks of things. Yeah, that Ferrari's gone backwards. Okay, we're going to get the DRS um, at some point. Ocon with some brilliant driving as well as Alonso. What we really need Ocon to do is just... Hang on to Alonso, who does seem to have some serious pace at the minute. And he's going to get the DRS. Can he use the DRS effectively? Uh, it doesn't even look like uh, Alonso had DRS in the end. Ocon did, though. And Ocon 
Is Ocon going to fly past like loads of people here? He might, you know. Ocon might, you know. Jesus Christ, this is exciting. I'm only watching this on one time speed because it's so good. Oh, look at Ocon. Job. Jesus. Oh my, look at Alonso. Oh, whatever you do, don't crash, lads. Whatever you do, don't crash. Ocon's following, uh, Alonso's following Ocon around. Uh, a little wide there from Alonso, a little bit messy. Right, Alonso has got DRS and so has Gasly. Uh, and so is the Mercedes. Oh, it's all getting a bit messy. It's all getting a bit messy. Right, it's uh, very, very messy at the minute. We just kind of need Ocon to get past Gasly and pull away. Because this is just a mess. No one really has any advantage. There we go, Alonso. Lovely job. Right, can we pull away? So, who... Ocon's in front. I'm going to just let it go for this, and then I might have to say to Alonso, like, don't fight. Uh, but Alonso is further up the order in the drivers. Hmm, what do we do? Like when it's it when those big DRS trains, like get going, and you're at the front of it. There's no point fighting it. There really isn't any point fighting it. And I think we've dropped Ocon. Yeah, we dropped Ocon, so he's now part of a. Uh, a little group of cars with signs and Leclerc and it's going to be Alonso that's got to try and hold on to Bottas moved up a place. and if he can do that then great but my concern is the tyres at the moment because um, yeah Alonso seemed to have really gone off um, people have already pitted onto the hard tyre which makes me think they're going to go onto the soft at the end that does. It makes me think they're going to go on to the soft at the end. Right, so I feel like he's opened up a gap. Nope, we're still there. We are still there. Right, our pit window has opened. It's a race position gained for Mercedes. Ocon. This is good, come on. Overtakes Gasly. Right, yeah, we're going alright. We're going alright. We are one stop in. I do think they're two stop in uh, a lot of these cars. Um they're going onto the hard now. But I don't think they're gonna take that to the end. Right, enter, just in there to now. Right, we're going to push this now. And we're going to push the fuel for you as well. But we are going to push for a lap Happy to push. or two. Copy. And um, see what we can do. See if we can pull away from Bottas a little bit, potentially. Really just go to town for a couple of laps. Yep, Bottas is into the pits. Fastest lap for Alonso. Um, and we are now going to push for you. A little. Right, so let's get around one more time and then it's going to be pit window time for Alonso. Perez is clearly one stop in the same as us because he's taken that medium tyre quite a ways. I don't think we're going to have enough of a lead on Verstappen. Perez comes in. We're coming in the next lap. So open that pit option and... Do you know what? If we were... The medium could go to the end. I don't think it would go to the end properly, but it could go. Anyway, we're going to go into the hard anyway. Right, come on. Okay, box, Push. box. Box, box. Push, 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 push. 
We're going to stick with it, as I always do, because um, I like to be in control of everything. But yeah, this is all about just trying to pull out as much time as possible over everyone else. And then get on that hard tyre, and we're going to take that hard tyre all the way to the end of the race. I don't think we're going to have enough of a gap to like get in and out, but... You know, it's going to be good. It is going to be good. And we're going to go to standard now because the pit lane is right there. Now we're going to jump in with Rock On. And let's see what Alonso can do. And yeah, Rock On, you're now coming in and going onto the hard tyre. Box, box. Yeah, happy to box. Where is Alonso? Where is Alonso? 2.7, that's a slow pit stop. It is a slow pit stop. Third. He's currently third. He's currently fourth. Yeah, I don't know if it's worked. I don't know if that worked. Yeah, Bottas got the jump on him as well. Yeah, okay. Um. It's a race position gained for Mercedes. Uh, anyway. Here we go. Mm, back to Alonso. Yeah, I don't know where we're at really with Ocon taking him one more lap, but you yeah, know, it was worth it was worth a worth a try. He's in and he comes out in ninth. Oh dear. Ninth. Sounds like we've had a spin. Actually, that's that's pretty tr terrible. What I've done to Ocon there, to be honest. Um, yeah. That's not great at all. I don't know how I've managed that. He's lost out that much. Tires fastest lap. Oh, and then it was taken off of him by Gasly. <laughs> oh, well. Um. What do we do with Ocon, man? Like, P9. And this is on me, because I just didn't get the pit stop right. Um. He, he's in, he's in a... A horrible DRS train. There are a couple of drivers in there whose tyres don't look like they're going to go the whole way. The whole hog, you know? Mercedes moved Can we up get it place. done? Can we get it done? Need to get it done. Need to get it done. Ocon needs to dispatch. He needs to dispatch. So Bottas and Alonso are just going tip for tat at the moment. <clears throat> um, Bottas is on very similar set of tyres to us, as is Leclerc. Um, there's enough of a gap between Ocon and Sonoda. Like I'm not worried about that at all. It's a race position gained from Mercedes. Um, but yeah, Verstappen is uh, is the interesting one on those hards that are much, much more worn out. That is the interesting one. But yeah, Ocon is just not getting past those cars because it's a DRS train and there's too many cars involved. Just way, way, way too many cars involved. Oh, crap. Totally forgot about that. Well, that's going to be a problem later in the race, I would imagine. Eventually, these tyres will be so much better than these. Right, Verstappen's in. We're not okay on fuel. You know, we'll be, okay, we'll okay. be, we'll be fine. We can, uh, we can get some of that back. So he's definitely going on that soft tire. So Verstappen will just catch everyone up anyway on the soft. Um, there's, there's no way he's going on any other tire. In my opinion, okay, he's going on the medium. What? <laughs> what? That seems like a weird, very, very strange strategy. It 
really does. Right, Ocon, you've got Gasly and Leclerc in front of you on much worse tyres. I love this. Look at the look at the tyres that um, you're, he's rocking. Like this is actually pretty impressive from Leclerc. Uh, some from Ocon at the moment. So yeah, like can we give him a bit of help, maybe. I'm gonna go right now. And you're gonna see if we can help him out a bit. And can this extra bit of power help? I just don't think it can because of the the DRS zones. And they're just tugging each other along. Like, they might get the Ferrari here because he's followed Gasly through. Nope, can't get it finished. But he has got much better tyres. He needs to get past them. He's got Verstappen chasing on that medium. I genuinely think Verstappen might have cost himself a podium. Mercedes I really do. Yeah, do you know what? I don't think there's much I can do for Ocon. I really don't. Um, Alonso's got a chance here because of the DRS and whatever. And if they can, if they can pull Perez in, then yeah, there's a, there is a there is a chance, you know. Ten laps to go. Verstappen has uh, done about a second in two laps. I don't know. I just don't know if he's got enough to get that job done. I really don't. Perez is going to win the race, though. We 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 will not have the pace to catch Perez, and we're we're back and forth with Bottas because of the DRS zone as well. So I, I just don't see us having enough about us to kind of catch um, Perez. I'm probably going to jump in with a few laps to go. Um, it's a race position gained for a Mercedes. But for now, I'm just going to let it run along. Six seconds. 6.3 seconds. Where are his tyres at? They're looking good, aren't they? It's a race position They're looking gained good. For Mercedes. Verstappen is the worry for everybody as this race goes along. Yeah, Verstappen's the one to keep an eye on. He is, he is catching. He is catching. All right, burn a bit of fuel for both. Oh dear. Yeah, Verstappen. I just don't know if Verstappen's got enough to catch the race leaders. He might. He might. The way he's catching at the minute. Anything is possible. Really is. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. Three and a half. Jesus, he's catching so quick now. Yeah, Verstappen is there now. He's involved. That's a worry. Four laps to go. If he gets past that lot, he is. Aston with a great play he there. is then on us. We're kind of relying on that bunch of cars behind to hold him back. Not long to go. And then, you know, the last lap we push. We go for it anyway on that last lap. Yes, I'm aware of the fuel. I think you'll regain it. You, you've basically got the same fuel as Alonso and he's got just over. So I think you're going to be all right. Right, come on. Come on. Ocon and Gasly are fighting for fourth. We've got Alonso Bottas fighting for second. The fuel is going to be fine. I'm so annoyed. It's so annoying when it does that. Oh, no. Verstappen has caught up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mercedes moved up a place. Look, the fuel will be fine. Stop telling me about that. Stop telling me about that. Right. We go for it next lap. We go for it next lap. We have to because of Verstappen being there. Verstappen's got past everyone. Right, okay. 
Here we go. Aggression. Push. And deploy. Last lap. Gotta go for it. Um, I'm gonna go quite aggressive there as well. We can push more. But okay. Verstappen is right behind us, so we have no choice. No choice whatsoever. Ocon sixth. It's such a shame. He is gonna push, and I am gonna deploy as well. Um, we're probably gonna be left with very little energy. But we pulled a little bit of a gap to put us. Oh, God. All right, deploy what's left. Deploy what's left. Here we go. We're going to take second place. We're going to take second place. That's a fucking effort. That is a brilliant effort. Unlucky to walk on. Unlucky to walk on as well. Because Verstappen's tyres just... They were there. That's all that beat him. But... Verstappen's race was cost because he too stopped. We took it to the end. Brilliant. Brilliant. Take all the pick up and away in. What a flawless weekend here from Fernando Alonso. His team must be proud. This podium is a true recognition of everyone who's been working so hard for this result. And you don't just find yourself on the podium for no reason at all. The Aston Martin driver really earned that place. For these drivers, they'll be taking home their trophies and a decent haul of points for their team. Well, gang, that was an unbelievable effort from Fernando Alonso. It really was. I actually feel a bit for Esteban Ocon. I feel like maybe because of the life he had in his tyres, I should have gone for two laps a bit heavier at the end. Um, uh, I got worried about the fuel burn. I think that's what it was. Max Verstappen. Unbelievable. Um... I don't know what he what he was thinking. I really don't know what he was thinking in that race, but the one stop seemed to work for a lot of people towards the top. Anyway, as far as the points concerned, Esteban Ocon moves up to seventh place now on 70, and uh, Fernando Alonso with another 18 points puts him in third still. As struck constructors, uh, we've pulled out a nice bit of a gap to Mercedes as we picked up 26. They only pick up the 15. We look now on for top four, don't we, this year? We really do. The Alpine had a good race, to be fair to him. Gasly did very, very well. Um, but yeah, Williams, look at Williams. Still no point. But McLaren, what has happened to McLaren? So there you have it, my friends. We are done and dusted for another episode of F1 Manager. Um, I very, very much enjoyed that British Grand Prix. Shame we couldn't win it, but second place is unbelievable. What a brilliant effort that is. Again, from Fernando Alonso this season. Uh, next up is Austria, the Red Bull Ring. I'm looking forward to that one. Once we get that race out of the way, development of the car will slow down and we will get research begun. I think it's important that we start doing that. We've got a regulation vote coming up as well. Um, the next race is in four days' time, and it looks like the side pods will be ready for the next race. So very excited about that. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff, my friends. But until next time, stay safe, stay humble. I'll see you real, real soon.